Welcome to Right-of-Way Part 2. In Part 1, we looked at the right-of-way rules we need to follow on neighborhood streets, but in this video, we're looking at the right-of-way rules we need to follow on major streets. Now in right-of-way part one, we learned that the California Vehicle Code states that right-of-way is the privilege of the immediate use of the highway, which basically means right-of-way is who's entitled to go or whose turn it is to go. Now when it comes to lane changes, we need to do two things before we make a lane change. We need to smog, which stands for signal mirrors over the shoulder, then if it's clear we can go, and we also need to adjust our speed so we won't impede anyone's right-of-way. So if I'm making a lane change, I'm gonna use my signal, check my mirrors, look over my shoulder. If it's clear, I'm gonna gently ease into the lane that I wanted to make a lane change into. Now, if there's a car there, I'm gonna adjust my speed so that it's safe to make a lane change. If, if the car in that lane, if the vehicle in that lane has to brake or adjust their lane position, it's a ticketable offense or an automatic fail on the drive test. When any vehicle is being passed, it must yield the right of way. So if someone's going around you or passing you, don't speed up so it's hard for them to pass us because they have the right of way. This is especially important on a two lane highway where there's one lane in each direction. A car needing to pass someone is gonna have to use an oncoming traffic lane to do it. So if a car is passing us, we give them the right of way. Let's talk about some right turns. So on a protected right turn or right turn with a green arrow, you have the right of way. Now if someone's jaywalking, of course we'd let them go, but you should have the right of way. On an unprotected right turn or a right turn with a green circle, pedestrians have the right of way. So if there's someone using the crosswalk and they're crossing away from you, we need to let them get halfway across before we make our right turn. But if there's someone coming towards us in the crosswalk, they need to get all the way through the crosswalk, all the way across before we make our right turn. Now when making a right turn with a bike lane, we need to make a lane change into the bike lane 200 feet before turning. Now, of course, if there's a cyclist already in the bike lane, we get in behind them. We treat them like another vehicle and we can't make our right turn until it's safe to go, until the, until the cyclist has gone. Now, you can make a right on red, but they can be tricky. When making a right on red, we need to first come to a full, complete stop behind the crosswalk. Then, if the crosswalk's clear, there's no pedestrian approaching, we can inch out to see if cross traffic is clear. If there's no vehicle or cyclist approaching us, and there's no car across from us making a left turn, they could have a protected left, then we can make our right on red. But if we don't do a full complete stop or we impede someone that has the right of way, which is everyone but us, it's a ticketable offense or an automatic fail on the drive test. On the drive test, we don't recommend trying one unless your examiner specifically requests it. Now when making a protected left turn or a left turn with a green arrow, you should have the right of way. I say should because someone could always be jaywalking and sometimes there'll be a car across from you trying a right on red that's not really paying attention. They could impede your right of way, but on a protected left, you should have the right of way. You should be able to go. Now on an unprotected left or a left turn with just a green circle, we need to yield to oncoming traffic. This includes cyclists and pedestrians. If there's oncoming traffic approaching the intersection, we roll out a third and stop and wait for it to be clear before we finish our left turn and clear the intersection. If there are pedestrians using the crosswalk, they need to get all the way across. It doesn't matter which way they're going before we finish our left turn.
Right of way in parking lots is very important because it's the number two place that accidents happen. So when you drive in a parking lot, we need to keep our speed really slow, like four to five miles an hour, especially when it's busy, because we wanna be ready to stop if a pedestrian kind of jumps out from behind a parked car because they still have the right of way. When I'm driving in a busy parking lot, not only do I keep my speed low and slow, but I'm constantly looking, I'm scanning for other cars that might be backing out that don't see me. You'll know a car is backing out because they'll have their white reverse lights on. When I'm backing out of a parking space, I always look right, left, and behind me a couple times. I keep my head on a swivel because I don't want to impede someone else's right of way because a car coming down the parking lane has the right of way. I don't want to back into someone and be responsible for an accident in a parking lot. So in a parking lot, keep your speed slow, yield to pedestrians, and when you're backing out, yield to cars or give your right of way to cars already driving down a parking lane. Let's talk about some right-of-way rules we need to follow in some special situations out there on major streets which could still come up on the drive test. For instance, we need to yield the right-of-way to any police vehicle, fire engine, ambulance, or any other emergency vehicle using a siren and red lights. How we do this is we pull over to the right and stop. We just don't want to pull over to the right and stop in an intersection as that could impede the direction they need to go to save someone's life. Now, if we don't yield to an emergency vehicle in the drive test, it's a fast way to fail. Now, sometimes you'll come upon a school bus that has some flashing lights and a stop sign extended from the side of the school bus. If you're driving the same direction as the school bus and you're behind, you need to stop until those lights and stop sign turn off. And we need to expect that someone could be crossing the street. Now, if you're going the other direction of the school bus, you need to stop if you've only got one lane. And the same rules apply on a two lane road with a center turn lane. Every direction of traffic must stop. If there's multiple lanes, you can cautiously pass the school bus or you can go if you've got like a raised median that divides traffic. Now let's say you come up to a traffic light or a signal that's blacked out. It doesn't have any power. So there's no lights, red, green, or yellow. We treat it like an always stop we'd find in a neighborhood. So whoever gets there first gets to go first. Or if you get there at the same time as another car, whoever's on the right gets to go first. Or if you get there at the same time as a car across from you, whoever's going straight gets to go first. Those are our right of way rules for some special situations that you will find as a driver. Now before we go, let's do a quick review. Now when making a right turn with a bike lane, we always merge into the bike lane 200 feet before the turn. Of course, we always yield to cyclists already in the bike lane, but if we're in the bike lane and a cyclist is coming up from behind us and they wanna go straight, they would pass us on the left. While making a protected right turn, you have the right of way. All other vehicles, cyclists, or pedestrians will have a red traffic signal light while you have a green arrow. When making an unprotected right turn or a right turn with a green circle, we yield to pedestrians in or about to use the crosswalk. And then when we finish our turn, we turn into the rightmost lane. When making a right on red, it's important to remember that cross traffic has the right of way. This includes pedestrians. Only make a right on red when it's 100% safe and you know you won't impede anyone's right of way. When making a protected left turn or a left turn with a green arrow, you have the right of way. Oncoming vehicles, cyclists, and pedestrians are stopped by a red traffic signal light. On an unprotected left turn or a left turn with a solid green circle, we give the right of way to oncoming traffic that is in or quickly approaching the intersection. This includes cyclists and pedestrians. Thank you for watching Right of Way Part 2. Good luck on your drive test and see you in the next video.